Harvey Wilkinson, the general manager of Outback Power Technologies, uh, introducing some of the new products that we're showing at SPI this, this October. And one of them is the expansion of the Radian family. So the Radian, we currently have an eight kilowatt um, unit that's 120-240 split phase. Um, we also have a 230 volt unit, which is um, a, uh, for the rest of the world market, and that's seven kilowatts. At this show, we're expanding the product line now to we have a four kilowatt Radian, we call a half Radian, which is 120-240. In addition to that, it is 60 hertz or 50 hertz, and it has a higher uh, expanded voltage range and expanded frequency range. Um, and we also have a 3.5 kW version, which is 230 volts for the rest of the world, and that's 50 and 60 hertz as well. The Radian family is um, dual AC input, so it allows generators, um, a generator input and the AC input, so it's both off-grid and uh, grid interactive, or we call grid hybrid, um, and uh, it allows, um, it, as I said, split phase in the, in the four kilowatt version and the 230 version in single phase. This is our FlexMax Extreme Charge Controller that we're talking about at the show. It's completely environmentally sealed, so it meets the IP54 or the NEMA 3R sealed. It has no fan, uh, and therefore it's got the, just a heat sink built in, uh, and therefore um, it's very quiet. And also, from a standpoint of there's no fan to uh, to potentially fail, it's for extreme applications. Anytime you need an outdoor unit, an outdoor rated unit um, with very good harvest uh, because it uh, it operates over the full temperature range and harvests energy uh, more efficiently than other charge controllers. It's an 80 amp charge controller, uh, up to 150 volts DC, um, and it's got the MPPT tracking as well. And it's got a, it's a larger chassis, so it allows you uh, more room for wiring. You can bring your cables in uh, from behind it, from the side of it, from the bottom of it. It's got a wiring chamber right here. And you can also um, has uh, an access card that ports in, allows you to monitor it remotely. This is our AC coupling solution. And AC coupling allows you to add a uh, battery-based inverter system uh, to a grid-tied system after the fact. And most installations in North America and Europe are grid-tied, which means when the grid goes down, uh, your system goes down as well. This AC coupling solution allows you to um, be such that when the grid goes down with an AC coupled solution, that you're gonna essentially have a mini grid within your house or micro grid within your house. The way it works is we have a radian between 3.5 kW and 8 kW you have a radian bi-directional inverter, which essentially simulates the grid in case the grid goes down. And so it's placed between your grid tied inverter and your grid. When the grid goes down, this will disconnect from the grid. It'll act as the grid and create the sine wave. And your grid tied inverter will continue to create the uh, harvest the energy off your PV. It has a special load center with a motorized breaker, which protects your batteries uh, from being overcharged. And in this case, we also have a uh, two-shelf rack with uh, batteries which are optimized for a, a grid-stable environment or a grid-hybrid environment um, for an AC couple application. Long shelf life, a pure lead battery, a long calendar life as well, and it cycles well on top of that. This entire system is UL1741, so including the radian, including the load center, the breaker, and your, your uh, battery rack and uh, your batteries. Um, so it's an entire UL, it's an entire package solution, allows you to upgrade uh, most um, any um, inverter. And uh, Enphase, as a matter of fact, from a microinverter standpoint, um, has uh, put out an applications note talking about the use of our Radian with their Enphase inverters in case their customers want to update and add AC coupling. And this shows the concept of AC coupling, which essentially is you add the radian inverter and the load center in between the grid and the grid tied inverter, and it creates, it essentially makes a grid hybrid or grid interactive system.